Back here, Starbucks is raising prices on some of its drinks by up to 20 cents. That starts next week. The company says the increase in its stores will hike the average uh, customer tab less than 1%, but you can also expect to pay about a dollar more for the packaged coffee Starbucks sells in supermarkets. That price hike is in response to a spike in coffee costs this year. Even though those prices have come down a little this week, coffee futures are still one of the year's top commodity gainers. Jane Wells has more. Coffee prices have been brewing up this year, and people have noticed. I was doing five times a week, but cut it down to three. Why is that? Uh, it just saves money. But they've come off a caffeine high. Turns out a drought in Brazil maybe wasn't so bad. Brazil is the largest producer of the popular Arabica beans, and fears of a reduced crop sent coffee futures up over 50 percent. They've now fallen by more than half. The CEO of Duncan Brand said earlier this week that people overreacted to Brazil. Quote, it wasn't as bad as everyone expected. Today, however, coffee futures went back up because now they're actually harvesting in Brazil. It's time for the truth. There was some rain that developed uh, late in uh, our spring, uh, their fall, and we thought that that may have helped uh, the crop and some of the dryness, but it turns out uh, that rain was uh, too little too late. Higher prices are starting to trickle down to the consumer. Even though Starbucks locked in prices for much of its coffee when they were lower, it is planning to raise prices for customer next week for the first time in a year. On some beverages, it'll range from 5 to 20 cents. And packaged coffee it sells in grocery stores could be 8% more expensive. Coffee prices changing isn't really affecting my consumption. Is it enough to make people think twice? Just need it. Get, gets me going every day. What is the alternative? For some, at the moment, apparently nothing. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Los Angeles.